if you have two assets and they may look fairly uncorrelated in normal conditions, but somehow you happen to be in October of 08, November of 08, and then everything goes down together. And you find that in the extreme parts of the distribution, you are investing and you're trying to apply Murphy's law to portfolio construction, because when something goes wrong, everything goes wrong. Well, there are statistical tools for that. It means that you need to inject some views, because you may not have enough data points in the past. So you have to engage in the difficult exercise of scenario building and having a view. And what you said earlier about uh, copulas, which is a, a heavy-handed object, can be extremely practical. Why? Because you can say, well, maybe this sector or this particular risk premium, let it be value or momentum, has fatter tail than the other. Well, how do I measure it? Maybe my risk is more asymmetric on the downside than on the upside. So you can have views that you can express relatively simply on the behavior of each of your assets in the portfolio. Maybe not stock specific, but at least country or industry specific or risk premium specific. And then put them together to have something where you have tail dependence. The problem becomes that do your risk management or portfolio construction tools can they embed these sort of simulation views? It is possible. Maybe not. Maybe you have to, buy, to build something from scratch. One of the issues, though, is that if you focus and incorporate the tail risk into your portfolio construction, is there not an additional risk that you are going to become excessively defensive? Because you start caring about the third standard deviation or the fifth standard deviation to the downside. So it becomes an agency problem as a PM.